Hey guys, it's HodgePodge here, and today we're going to be doing a review of the Papo Parasaurolophus. Now, this figure is being repainted for this year, but I thought it would be an appropriate time to review the original colour scheme, as I've had this particular model since I was a child, and as you can probably tell here on the snout, uh, there's a bit of um, miscolouring as I decided to use my felt tip pens to draw on where the paint had faded. So yeah, let's get into the review. So Parasaurolophus is a hadrosaur dinosaur that lived during the late Cretaceous in Canada, specifically the Dinosaur Park formation, 75 million years ago. All right, so let's get into this model. Now, as you can probably tell, this Parasaurolophus is heavily, heavily inspired by the Parasaurolophus from the Jurassic Park franchise. This colour scheme in particular, looking like the one from the third film, Jurassic Park 3. And basing it on that, it's a pretty good representation. And in terms of actual um, accuracy, it's, uh, it's, it's actually fairly good. And so, as to be expected with Papo, the scale detail is fantastic. The skull overall is pretty good. As you can see, the green on the, the front of the snout has been colored on by me. Um, now the head shape, the crest should probably be a little bit straighter, but it probably depends on the species. Uh, I'm not sure which one this is meant to represent. The eye looks really nice. The beak, um, it might be a little bit big, but overall this is pretty good. The eye looks really nice, the scale detail on the cheeks is really good, and there's even an ear sculpted in there which I really like. The skin folds, oops, the skin folds on the neck are really well done. And then when we get down into the forelimbs, this is where the main accuracy problem comes from, as the, uh, the front feet should be combined all into one fleshy pad rather than like individual toes and they might also be a little bit spindly they should probably be a lot bulkier than this now the hind limbs are pretty good they've got the correct number of toes although the middle toes should be a bit longer but they've done a pretty good job on this now the the back does look a little weird on this model I've noticed as it does have these weird ridges that I, I don't think are present on Parasaurolophus. It, it just, it looks very weird. And then when we get down to the tail, uh, it is about the right length, although it probably wouldn't be able to um, pull off this sort of drooping pose. So that's unfortunately inaccurate. Now the rearing pose, I would say is, um, the, as in like the overall posture, it's pretty good. But the tail sadly isn't the most accurate as it does drop and it's also probably a bit too short. Uh, and <laughs> speaking of, you can see where the end of the tail got chewed off by my younger self. Uh, <laughs> I, like I said, uh, I've, I adore this figure. I've had it ever since I was a kid and I still love it now. And overall, it, it's a pretty good model. I'd say it's a, as far as Parasaurolophus models go, it's not the best, but I'd say it's still pretty good. And it's also, I'd say it's also a pretty faithful version based on the Jurassic Park one, as it does, it very strongly resembles the model from Jurassic Park 3. So if you're a Jurassic Park fan, uh, I'd, I'd say this is probably a good model for you. I feel like this model is a bit underrated personally. I really like it and I feel like it's generally considered to be one of Papo's um, less quote unquote good models, but I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I think it's just a very unimpressive model. But I think that's also just hadrosaurs in general, unfortunately, which is a shame because I think they're fantastic and I love hadrosaurs. And I think if you're a fan of Parasaurolophus, I think you'll love this model. It may be being retired due to the new color uh, recolor coming out soon. 
So I'd say if you can get a hold of this model, I'd say go for it. I got mine years ago and I can't remember what shop I got it from. But um, if you would like to purchase one for yourself, I'd recommend everythingdinosaur.com. They have amazing service. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye now. Mm-hmm.